friends, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today for me is December 20th and it is baking day, which is one of my absolute favorite days in December. I don't know how many years I've been doing this, but it's been a long time. I take one day out of usually the week before Christmas and just bake all day and make all the goodies and try to recruit as many of our family members as I can to come and help me. Last year, if you watched my baking day, it was so wonderful, so perfect. I had so many people show up at the last minute and we decorated cookies and it was literally like the best day ever. So I'm going to link all my previous baking day videos down in the description box if you want to watch those through the years. I think I have probably three or four, something like that that I'll link, but definitely check them out if you like these kind of videos. But it is um, Monday, December 20th for me, and so it's going to be me, and of course Jackson and Marion are here because they live here, but my sis both my sisters and I think two of my nieces and my mom, and then both of my girls are going to come over. So we have a list of things we're going to be baking. As you know, I am on a no sugar or a very low sugar diet or lifestyle basically that I have been on this whole year. I have lost over 30 pounds, 30 something pounds by now and I'm doing really good and so I don't want to you know fall off the wagon just because it's Christmas time. I've been really good. I've been really good you know resisting all the treats and so today when I usually do my baking day I don't eat all the things but um, I wanted to have something that I could eat that would still feel like I wasn't missing out on everything so I will be there will be one recipe that I'm making that I'm hopefully going to be able to enjoy. It's a, lane, a recipe Elaine has given me. If I'm able, I'll link it in the description box. I don't know if I can because I think it might be on an app that she paid for. I'm not sure. But I'll show you as I make it. I'm going to be using like, um, you know, some coconut sugar instead of regular sugar. I'll be using almond flour instead of just white flour. And I'll be... Um, you know, coconut oil, I think, instead of oil or butter, and then Lily's chocolate chips. It's just a chocolate chip cookie recipe, but I miss chocolate chip cookies so much. So <laughs> I'm hoping that that will, you know, make me feel like I'm not missing out on all of it. But we have a list. I'll show you the list in a second, but I've just been kind of cleaning up the, around the house. I took a shower and got ready, lit some candles, and I'm going to maybe put on a Christmas movie. Elena's going to bring her Bluetooth speaker, and she's got a playlist of Christmas songs. So we're just going to have so much fun today. We're going to make a charcuterie board for lunch, and we got some fancy drinks, and it's just going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. So I'll show you my little list of cookies, or I should say things we're going to bake because they're not all cookies, but I wanted to kind of have a list. So, and also Elena is uh, bringing her own. She's going to be making some gingerbread that she can eat. And then I told my sisters they want to bring anything that they want to make, you know, I'm hoping to pack up a few of these, um, and take them to people as gifts too. Hopefully, usually we do one platter at our house and one platter at my mom's house and you know, to all the families, but I don't know that we're going to keep a lot here just because, Marion probably doesn't eat it. He likes the no-bake oatmeal cookies, and then Jackson will eat a couple, but, you know, I'm not going to eat a lot, so we'll see. We'll package them up and send them off to everyone, so hopefully everyone can enjoy them. But this is my list of what I plan on making. The hot cocoa cookies that um, I saw Crystal Tara make those. I have made hot cocoa cookies before, but I ha it's been a few years, so I'm going to make those. The no-bake cookies, the oatmeal no-bake cookies, I'm going to do two batches of those because we like, Marion likes a whole batch just for himself. <laughs> I'm going to do the peanut butter blossoms, but I'm just going to use a Pillsbury, I think, or I think a Pillsbury, uh, or I don't know, but it's a prepackaged peanut butter cookie mix, and then you put the Hershey Kiss on it, super easy. The Rolo pretzels, Madison loves those, are her favorite. I'm going to make homemade sugar cookies. Those are the ones that take a long time, so I'm probably going to start on those pretty soon and get the cookies baked so that we can decorate those later. And then I'm going to make my special chocolate chip cookies, and then Elena will be making gingerbread. She may be making more than that. I'm not sure. I just tried to clear off this area. So this will be where our food is. We get these pretty plates and all the things, the champagne flutes for the sparkling cider. Got some Hawaiian rolls, and then we're going to do some meat and cheese and fruit and veggies. Marion got me these flowers a couple days ago just because and they're cute they have red and green on them <laughs> and I brought up and washed from the basement I brought all these up just like different um, containers I have plates things like that that we can use to you know package up goodies to send off or you know to send to different different people's houses so it is like 11 
37 <laughs> exactly and I'm gonna go ahead and start on the sugar cookies because I told everybody to be here between 12 and 1 you know people will just come whenever they can so that way maybe I can get them baked and cool cooling so that we can all decorate them you know it won't take all day so I'm gonna get my apron on I don't know where I got this where did I get this Walmart I think I got this at Walmart last year maybe um, it's a little big but I just pinned it and it'll work so I'm gonna link the sugar cookie recipe down below it's the one I like to use there it's really great at, at, at not spreading so when you cut with co sugar cookie cookie cutters you know when you want that light is flashing you want them not to spread and change the shape so this is a really good one for that if that's the kind of cookie you want to make so uh, and any other recipes that I can I will link in the description box sugar cookies in the refrigerator are getting hard and this is like all of our baking stuff Elena and Madison are here and she's gonna I guess they are gonna set up the food I don't know Elena for sure yeah. that way I don't have to worry about that and then it is 12 what time is it 12 19 so hopefully we'll get it all set up before everybody else gets here then we can eat because I'm so hungry so I got elf I just put elf in and we're gonna have music in the kitchen but i don't want to you know get copyrighted so i'll have to mute it a lot probably and susie my friend susie if you're watching i'm wearing the socks you sent me and i love them
Okay, we're making our traditional pralines. We always made them on Christmas, but we made them early this year. And this one did not turn out. That's one giant praline. We usually make two batches and one batch does not work every time. And I gotta get over here and do this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, do me to start? It's fine. Elena made these like gingerbread cookies that she can eat because she's mm -hmm. dairy free, gluten free, gluten free, soy free, soy free. Anyway, they are amazingly delicious. So she's gonna bring uh, on Christmas Eve, we always make gingerbread houses. She's gonna have her own gingerbread that she's made. But we're working on our second batch of pralines and we're praying that they turn out. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. Okay, so the second batch of pralines turned out perfectly. I'm gonna show you what they look like. They turned out perfect. We just, we just always get one batch right and one batch wrong for some reason every single year. Here's the first batch. We did just kind of salvage the, they're kind of like candy pecans. I mean, they taste amazing. So they're fine. It's just not what it was supposed to be, but they're definitely, delicious so I'm gonna change my battery real quick my light is flashing all right my battery changed um, I don't know what time it is what time is it 730 everybody's gone I've cleaned up I've cleaned for like an hour and there's still dishes in the sink I did wash some things by hand and the dishwasher's going I think it's the second time today but I'm just not gonna be on my feet and do any more those will get washed tomorrow but I'm gonna show you all the plates of goodies that we made so those are the pecans that was the first batch and like I said they're still good these are just some cookies that were 
still needing to dry. We these just made these are the hot cocoa cookies that just made a ton, a ton. I mean, like so many. And this is going to go to my mom's house as well as this plate, which is it's crazy how much it is. But like, there's a lot of people and you know over multiple days but these are the little rollo pretzels so easy just put the little pretzel and now with the rollo heat it up for three minutes in the oven and then put one on top and then they take a while to harden but so good these are the no bake cookies the pralines those are my sugar cookies the girls iced them these are elena's gingerbread she made these are actually really delicious and then our little peanut butter blossoms that one got a little bit messed up but this is the plate that I think my family's going to eat on, but like, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. We probably will freeze some for Christmas. And I put some in the freezer in a container I'm going to give to some someone else. But um, Michael and Danielle will be here too. Danielle would have come today, but she had to work, so she didn't get to come. We would have, we did want her to come, but I know not everybody can come all the time. We did have a house full, but it was so fun. That charcuterie board was so good. Elena did an amazing job like fixing that she just she's really good at that she worked for a long time for a wedding uh planning company so she's had to do those kinds of things a lot so anyway she did a great job it was so fun and all our delicious cider and wassail and so good it was fun and i if you can't tell i'm tired like i literally been on my feet the entire day so i'm gonna say good night i'm gonna go edit tomorrow's video so it is getting close i think what is today monday for me I think you're gonna see this Thursday, so it is getting close to Christmas. So I guess tomorrow will be um, Christmas Eve for you guys. So uh, yeah, we're getting down to the wire. For us, we're still gonna go uh, go look at Christmas lights one night. That's a family tradition, it's so fun. And I still have a little bit of shopping to do and a little bit of wrapping to do, but it's Monday, Christmas is Saturday. We are getting down to the wire. So lots of things going on, but thanks for hanging out with us today. I hope that you enjoyed this I kind of probably am going to put a lot of music over it, but you know, you still got to see what was going on. Lots of baking, lots of fun, lots of fun. I love having my family in and having everybody come over for baking days. L literally probably my favorite Christmas tradition. So anyway, I love you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.